Okay, in a news update for Wednesday, October 24th, 2018. How's everybody doing tonight? I hope this is the uh, final, because there's something really going on with this phone. And everything I have here, there's something weird going on here. We're not even broadcasting this out to the web, but it's acting up. Um, I wanted to tell you, though, tonight, if we can get this out, that they have a caravan that's coming over here from Mexico. They did national... Uh, security has been declared from national from the national emergency has been declared from home from homeland security and also donald trump and of course other people in the government are stopping this on this uh, convoy as what i'm going to call it of refugees that are coming into our country uh they need to be stopped because they they we do believe that there is criminal infractions that are mixed in with these people and they could come over here and really cause a lot of mayhem to take to be unleashed on innocent Americans. And also, a number of packages went out to a lot of top uh, top officials in our government uh, today. We don't know why this has happened. We don't know. We don't understand what's going on with this. But we know that a number of key players have received um, notifications in the mail uh, today. Uh, with packages with bomb-like arsenals and also white powder contained in it. We don't know if the white powder scans to be anthrax or some other chemical agent. We don't really know at this time. But we know that they, they're, like Trump said, they're not going to spare any expense, and they're going to find out who these evildoers are. So they're going to trace it back to the VIN numbers, the serial numbers of where they got this stuff, and they're going to find these people, bring them to justice, and put them in jail where they belong so that everybody can be safe in the United States and uh, and, and that, because none of this stuff should be going on in places in our government and it really it shouldn't be going on so you know you know be in prayer about that that we can catch these perpetrators who sent these bombs because yeah I think it's kind of ironic how they sent a, a bomb package to Joe Sarnos but you know to me I think they should have sent a convoy of police over there to lock him up with all this activity that he's doing all across the world to divide and also to cause a lot of mayhem with not just America but also other countries and how his role is to try to to cause uh, any kind of chaos that he can so the election will be interrupted or messed up and that's their plan all along you know I believe that this caravan has a lot to do with that too that's coming into the United States from South America they're burning flags they're saying hate speech you know, they're showing that they're burning flags. We've seen it, and they're giving the middle finger. Some of them were giving the middle finger to uh, people that were recording them, uh, displaying their behavior. Now, you know, you see on the regular news that it looks like, you know, the false news, that they all look nice because some of the people that are talking, you know, may want to, may, may be refugees that are trying to escape from oppression, but you know, we don't have room for people like that in here. We can't have that influx coming in here because we have a lot of people here already. We don't have room for them to come here to our United States. So if they're running away from their country because it's so horrible and messed up, then that tells you something. That tells you a lot right there, folks, that, you know, that if they come in here, it's going to mess everything up here in America already. I mean, unemployment rate is a lot higher than what they are showing. It's just like the stock market is very pivotal right now. Uh, housing market has gone down about four about eight percent since last this time last year and you know there's a, that's just one indicator but when we see a lot of things all, all across the board where it's showing decline like in sales and in automobiles has gone down too uh, and meanwhile they are pumping up the interest they're pumping up the interest rates and yet we might think well it's gone up 16 percent this since this time since last year well you know what that means folks that you and I are going to have higher loans and higher interest on our credit cards or on our loans. So when you go out to get something or you go to buy something on credit, it's going to cost you a lot more in interest. So, you know, even though they're pumping up and you think 16% is not a lot, it's a lot. Because that can translate and depend on what your credit is like. If you have bad credit, that could translate into meaning that you could be paying about 49% in interest if your credit's really bad. To around 32% or 29% to 31% in interest and that's because they upped it you know keep upping it 
And you know that will help over deflate. That will help inflate the dollar. That will help make the dollar worth more for a little while. That's another way how you can pump up the dollar. But it won't last but for long. And we're starting to see earlier signs. I mean, we see banks now advertising, like Wells Fargo and you know Bank of America, where they're going to give people as an incentive if you get a credit card with them because they need the money. They need to keep the sales going. And they're you know they're noticing a big decline. So they're offering air miles, traveling miles, and other perks. And you'll be seeing a lot more of that. Uh, lower prices in the stores. But the only thing is that a lot of people that get checks or a lot of people who are poor, you know, they can't, um, they can't even afford to buy the stuff because everything else is so high. And, you know, the weird thing is this month I didn't get an electric bill. But I know it doesn't mean that my electricity is not free. I just didn't receive one, so I don't know why my electric bill didn't come to me this month. But yet I have last month's bill, so I can put the account number in and find out what my bill is on the phone. Um, you know, but I'm sure it should be around about what it was, or should be about the same. But I haven't received it, and it's kind of weird how they haven't mailed my electric bill out. But I know the week when uh, we had Tropical Storm Michael, 